Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel DS Tech Mirror. In today's video, we will learn how to create row level security in model driven apps. In my last video, I covered the basics of security rules and how to cover the custom security rules. This video is in continuation to that. So let's get started. I will move to my power apps. This is my power apps environment, which I am using for this particular tutorial, the stack mirror environment. In that, what I will do first, let me move to admin center. And from there, I will pick the custom security role, which I have created in my last video. From here, I will select my environment. I am working on TS Tech Mirror environment. From the right, you can see security rules. I will click on see all. And this is the complete list of security rules, which have inbuilt security rules as well as custom security rules. My security role name is DO, that is demo security role, DO underscore custom. So let me scroll down, DO underscore custom rule. If I click on it, I can see this security role I have assigned to this user test user 01 so what I have done here let me open my app it is already open let me close it and what I will do I will go to this solution actually I am in my solution so this is my environment DS tech mirror and from here I will open my solution DS tech mirror demo and from apps I will open my model driven app I will click on play In this I am logged in with my credentials and what I have done I have used the same URL and in the private mode I am logged in with this test user 01. So this test user 01 is having this custom security role that is du underscore custom security role and this user is having system administrator role. So this user can do each and everything and we will see how we can customize this uh, our custom security rule for test user 01 okay so let's go back and what I will do let me click on this edit now what I want to do is I want to create a row level security that means over here this current user current logged in user which is having system administrator role can see all the records which makes sense for my donation if I'll go for my fundraiser I can see all the records. I can see the records of test user 01 as well as other users. Now, if I go to test user 01, this is test user, test user 01. For test user 01 also, you can see all the records. This is because we have created this uh, custom security rule, which is du underscore custom role as a copy from the system administrator role. So now if I want to implement the rule level security, I have to edit this rule. To edit it, what I will do because uh, I want to put the restriction on my table that is my donation and my fundraiser because my app is using these two tables. So, and these are custom entities or custom table. So, what I will do from the top ribbon, I will move to this custom entity section. And from here, I have to search for my table. From the top, you can see we have these different permissions create read write delete append append to assign and share i have explained all these permissions in my last video as well as all the access level which are defined below now let me move directly to my table my table name is my donation and my fundraiser so let me scroll down here is my table first let me uh, try for my donation table so what i want to do in my donation test user 01 should only see his records test user should not be able to see all the records created by all users that means i want to implement user level security and from the from the bottom you can see user level security means this quarter yellow circle if i go go to this my donation if you are facing any difficulty in mapping like this circle belongs to my donation or uh, this model driven app. So just hover over a circle and it will give you the information. It is for my donation and this is great privilege. So I want to implement it on read. So I will move to the next circle and this is related to the read 
privilege on my duration now uh, right now this is full green circle that means organization that means the person having uh, this security role will be having global access so i want to uh, remove it i will remove it now i want to give user level access so i will click on one more time that is quarterly arrow circle and that means now on my donation table i am having user level access that means i should be able to read only my records let me click on save now let me go back first i will refresh my this screen which is having system admin permission there would not be any change for this because this user is having system admin rules let me go to my donation so i can see all the records but now for test user 01 there should be a change test user 01 should only see only these two record food packets and schools control f5 you can see so this is how you can implement the row level security now my table is secure user will only be able to see only his records or her records on the other hand system admin will see all the records done now let's uh, replicate the same for this my fund user because you can see in my fund user test user 01 still can see all the records why because for if i go to again this security rule under custom entity scroll down go to my fund user table my donation and my fund user for my fund user still it is global access so i can do i can remove and give user level access i can click on save and if i go back to test user 01 if i do control f5 and here also now user can see only his record this is that is test user 01 you should also notice because we have trimmed the security only for the read level only for the read level access because still user can see can create the new records there is no impact on the create access if you want that test user 01 or users having this security rule should not be able to create any record it is also a very easy what you can do let me go back custom entity i want to implement it on my donation what i want is user or fund raiser let me implement it on my fund raiser okay so what i want is test user 01 should not be able to create any records in the my fund raiser table but test user 01 can create record in my donation so what i will do is my fund raiser and this time i will remove the access this that is none selected that means users having this security rule cannot create any records in my fund raiser table let me click on save so now let me go back to the app and let me see whether test user 01 can create records in my fund raiser i am in my fund raiser and you can see new button is hidden for test user 01 but if i go to my donation new button is available so this is how you can modify your security role you can simply create a custom security role using an existing security role just copy that security role and then based on your requirement you can modify it so now we saw how we can implement role level security and how we can restrict the create level access for the users let me go back to my slide so in my next video what i will cover because what i am doing is uh, initially i covered the uh, basics or the theories about security rule then i am planning to cover two three demos i am already done this is done create custom security rule i have completed role level security in this video i have completed in my next video what i will do i will show you how we can implement column level security before closing the video let me just update the progress slide in the progress so far today we covered row level security so if you are watching this video directly in this slide you can see so far i have covered all these topics in my tutorial so if you want to or if you are interested to learn other topics you can just explore the model driven app playlist and you can watch my other videos as well thank you for watching today's video if you like this video please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel to get notification for our upcoming videos
If you have any issue with this video or any of my previous video, you can reach out to us through our official email ID or through YouTube comments. You can also join a group over Facebook called Modern SharePoint. This is my Twitter handle. You can follow me to get all the updates from the Office 365 world. Till our next video, much love, keep learning, thank you.